Okay guys, so in the last video there seems to be an error for header title. So this was an issue because uh, we hadn't set a, a default value for header title. Either we could say um, undefined error and the error will go away or else we need to say a default value for header title. So what if all this switch cases fail, we need to say some default value. So what I've done was um, um, I'll define it right after the route name and I'll pass in the route name as default value. I'll say equal to route name. So even if um, something happens in the switch case, we'll at least get something on the title. And so what we need to do is we need to add, like, change the um, size of the um, tab here. So what we can do is um, we can add in a tab options so there's another property here it's called tab bar options and inside tab bar options we can get the label so rather than writing it over here let's abstract that away as well so it creates a new um, function called tab bar options let's create it over here const tab bar options equal to an object so to get the types, uh, what we can do is hover over here. You can see it's coming from tab view config, and we can pick the tab bar options. So we'll say tab view config, and let's pick the tab bar options. Now you can see we are getting the types. So what we need is the label style. So inside the label style, we'll say font size is uh, let's stick with 16 and we'll add in some padding as well let's give padding 10 save that um, let's copy the star bar options to um, the app route as well let's open up our device here let's check now you can see our and for let's log in poll and profile as well seems okay so then let's add in the button as well so if you take a look in the drawer navigations api over here you can see we can pass in a drawer navigation config and inside the config we can pass in a content component and if you scroll down you can see we can create a custom drawer content component and pass in pass that in for our content component let's copy this thing over content component let's go to our drawer navigation so under unknown I mean auth app stack let's paste that in um, let's import the scroll view from react native see if area seems like what seems to be the error okay react must be in scope so let's import that as well Okay, let's pass in the custom raw component over here so this is the second argument in that we have content component let's pass in the custom raw component there and what we need is um, let's get the style as well style sheet and what we need is a button so let's get the button let's create the button over here Um, it's coming from react native uh, let's give a title to the button log out and we also need to add in an on press okay so for getting the navigation what we can say here um, we can get the types as well so if you hover over here you can see uh, drawer item props and any so if you pass that in the drawer item props for our types for props props is drawer item props is that correct it's item props so now we can say inside props dot navigation dot navigate so we will navigate us to the unauth stack so we'll get that from routes dot um, root unauth and that's it so let's open up our device again 
Let's log in to bot stack here. Let's open up the drawer. Here you can see the button logout. Let's press the logout button. Now we are taking the unlock stack. So that is it, guys, for this video. So what we'll do next is we'll be creating um, the sign up. So the user will sign up and he'll be taken into the uh, login. So after the user logs in, um, he can create or um, do stuff like that. And that is it guys for this video. Thank you guys for watching.